so sorry. Videos are going to be a little bit scarce again because I'm currently not in North Carolina. I'm in Michigan and you can see a gigantic bell tower behind me and that is really cool. That is the bell tower here on campus and we have gotten into Ann Arbor so that we can hopefully find somewhere that we are going to settle into and call our own for the next several years. So this is a business trip that kind of fell immediately after our island vacation where you guys got to see all of the awesome animals, all of the amazing vlogs of things that we did on our vacation and then we had to leave immediately after that so that we could come over here and try to find our home so that we know where we're going to be moving sometime in August and I have to tell you guys we got here at 2 p.m. this afternoon and we were like signing an application for the first place that we found that was full of tiny woodland creatures it was amazing I actually got like chipmunks and bunnies and fox squirrels beautiful black squirrels I didn't know squirrels could be so pretty I got video of all that over on the vlog channel that you can see like tomorrow when I post today's vlog oh my gosh it is so cool so we are away from home and I tried really hard to spend the two days in between our trips recording a ton of things I have a few things up that will go up during the weekend but we're still waiting on warriors and wolf quest and zoo crafting and star stable and basically a ton of the usual stuff that I really wanted to have covered for this time it's just gonna have to wait because I'm not home again I flew on a plane into another state halfway across the country today and it's been an amazing experience so I just wanted to give you a little heads up. I'm so sorry. It'll be over pretty soon. After all of this traveling calms down, we should have a pretty easy summer. And then after we move, it'll, it'll just be back to normal, just in a new place for getting all of our stories told, all the adventures done. Can you guys hear the fountain down there? Isn't that cool? A little fountain down there. But yeah, it'll be, it'll be really good. So just hang in there a little bit longer, you guys. I'm really sorry. <laughs> but the good news is this is getting all of those big structural things done that you kind of need to line up in life so you have somewhere to live. You can make sure everybody has the job where they need to have it. And then once we get settled down, I am just so eager. I am like, oh, I'm dying with excitement over everything I want to do. I want to be telling stories in Sims 4 and they're building up like the space station over there. I want to try out the new dine out pack. I want to experiment more with the other Sims 4 packs. I want to try out this really interesting new idea with a ghost family I have for Sims 3. I want to do so many things with zoo crafting. I want to bring prehistoric parkway, which is the dinosaur side series for zoo crafting up. Dog quest is really going to take off. Uh, Wolf quest is going to be coming back for a summer special. We have a lot coming up. Warrior Cats is going to begin like the behind the scenes uh, videos to explain how the challenge works and how I'm building it. It's going to begin the Q&A series where you guys can ask the cats questions and they'll answer like as though they're in a dream. They'll answer themselves for what they feel towards another cat or what kind of interpretation they have of certain omens that you guys can ask them. And we're going to be doing little just short 100% movie clips with the Warrior Cat series pretty soon that'll just show you like what life is like in the clan when it's not related to the challenge days. Behind the scenes you'll get to see how do Briarstock and Honeywish interact with one another. There goes the clock! Isn't that cool? You're hearing the background of the next six years of my life. <laughs> we won't be so close if we get the place we looked at today that was covered in chipmunks. There were chipmunks that walked across my path today. I was very excited. But if we get that place, then um, I won't be close enough to hear the bell, but I can walk to campus, which would be extremely useful because there was some delicious vegan food we had today and more that we're going to be trying out tomorrow. But yeah, Warrior Cats is going to have a lot of stuff. Uh, Prehistoric Parkway, we're going to be doing a lot. And that's not even touching on the new games. And there's several new games I'm going to be trying out, including Niche. A lot of you guys have asked me, including the developers have asked me to try it out. So I'm like, okay, you know, well, this is this is right up our alley. Or right into our niche, you might say. So we will be trying that one too. It'll be really fun. And now's the time. So hang in there, you guys. It's just going to be another four or five days as we finish up traveling here. We really thought we would have to spend the whole time doing house hunting and then we just fell in love with like the chipmunk alley that we found today it was perfect so we really fell in love with it it had an office which is what I really wanted so I can put all of your guys amazing fan art up on my walls and I can just decorate it with all of the stuff from our series which would be so cool um, so now's the time while I am traveling for you guys to go ahead look up games I've been thinking about like trying 
doing little snippets of Neko Atsume somehow, if you guys are interested in that. I just keep hearing how amazing it is, and it might be something where I record like two minutes, and then a few times during the week I'll record like two minutes just to check in on everything, and then just compile it for like one episode a week or something like that, because I think it would be fun to share my Neko Atsume journey for the first time with you guys, so we'll look into it. But if you have any other game suggestions, any other adventure suggestions, anything that you really, really miss and just would love to see come back, then let me know, and this is kind of like... Catch me now. Inspire me now. Tell me why I should do these things. Why I should like do a special in Zoo, like Zoo Tycoon 2 or Zoo Crafting or something like that. I am excited. I am eager to dive into the stories. I am looking forward to summer. I am just thrilled with where life is going and how after we move here, I'll be able to just devote myself and know I don't have to move, that we'll be able to go on so many adventures around here. Catch me while I'm excited with game ideas right now, and you can probably get me to latch into it for the whole summer. So now's the time to speak up, you guys. <laughs> But alright, I'm going to get a little bit of rest. It's been a very long day because we didn't really anticipate like going from you know North Carolina, traveling to Michigan, and then ending up finding the place we might potentially live in for several years all in one day. That was really cool. And I'm going to get some rest, and I will see you guys next time. Shouldn't be too long. Should be home Tuesday or Wednesday. So everything should be uh, back to normal probably around this time next week. Because I'm going to be settled in. I'm going to be showing off when I get home. I promise you guys a baby peep update video. So we'll check in on those little alien flesh nuggets. And we will see if blueberry and silverberry happen to have any eggs of their own. So uh, catch me while I'm excited with game ideas, you guys. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>